Yo, what's going on, YouTube? What's going on, man? DOJ, man. DOJ has confirmed there's an active investigation. It's an active investigation, man. So, you can see here, man, the Sinclair Broadcast Group just posted this, man, today, man, October 29th, man, 2020, man. So, you can find us on ABC 3030. Um... Excuse me, abc3340.com, man. You can find this article. I mean, I looked it up, man, and a lot of people aren't even, like, posting it, man, especially not on Google, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anything related to Hunter, man, within the past hour, man, it's only, like, maybe, like, three pages worth of searches on, like, Google. And this story doesn't even come up. It, like, barely comes up on Google, man. But you can find it all over Twitter, man. So you got a lot of people saying, like, oh, it's this, this uh, information and all this other stuff. But, yeah, man, it's just the FBI had to come out, man. FBI, Department of Justice, they had to come out and say, hey, yeah, we got the information. Yes, it's an act of investigation because heads are going to roll, man. If Trump gets in, heads are going to roll, Okay. And that's that's just it, man. It's I mean, hell, William Barr, his his job is gone. Uh, the CIA director, her job is gone. Um, I think the CIA inspector general, his 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 job is gone. You know. So you got like at least four people on the chopping blocks that they're going to be going. Uh, Ray, the, the FBI uh, director, uh, Ray. He gone. Ray is gone, man. You know what I'm saying? So he, he's gone. So Trump has already put it out there. Like, look, if I, once I win, like, we definitely we're going to fumigate. You know what I'm saying? And then just for, like, you know, just, and then the public, I mean, they don't even believe in the FBI anymore, man, nor the Department of Justice. Because they're all ran by, like, Partisan liberals, it seems like. I mean, that's the impression that they give. You know, your actions speak louder than words, man. You know, but you got to think about it, man. You got to you got to deal with maybe eight years of Obama, man. Holdovers, man. You get what I'm saying? And all the recruits that they put up in there, all the hiring and stuff like that. And who's working at HR? Who's who's at HR? Who's doing the hiring? Who's doing the hiring at the end of the day, man? You get what I'm saying? Who's doing the hiring at the end of the day? I'll get back to that. But yeah, Tony Bobolinsky, like I said, is a is a um, is a witness, man. They say he's a witness. You know, excuse and excuse me, like I was saying uh, in a previous video, that they already interviewed him and stuff like that. They sat him down for like five hours or whatever. You know, they took all the content. From his uh, cell phones and everything, man. They just, they took that, they swiped that already. But yeah, man, this, gets, this money laundering thing is tied to this dude from China, man. This China dude. Uh, I want to say this guy's name is like Patrick Ho or something like that. But it's, it's crazy, man. This dude had hired Hunter Biden to be his lawyer, man. He gave him a cool million dollars to be his lawyer to represent him in this case. And he's in jail. I'm telling you, man. Um, you got like what was that? Bevin Cooney. You got a man. You got a whole bunch of dudes in jail, man. Uh, Devin Archer, uh, the, the Cooney, this whole guy. And they say he's like a Chinese agent. He's in jail regarding money laundering and stuff like that. Yeah, man, it's 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 pretty much over, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this dude, if this guy doesn't even go to jail, man. This, I think, um, the system is not gonna work. You get what I'm saying? It's it's not gonna work. The system's not gonna work. It's it's breaking apart, man. It's it's breaking apart. We're ba we're barely holding on. You know, it's breaking apart because you have the. I mean, he, he got riding out in the streets, man. These guys are organized with this Antifa. They're busting up everything. And the citizens, you know, they're trying to be patient, you know. 
But everything going on with this COVID and this lockdown thing, man, it's got it's it's kind of got like the person that's behaving on edge. It's like it's like being a, in a classroom full of kids, right? It's like being in a classroom full of kids. You know, you got that one kid that's disrupting the classroom, doing doing everything um, he wants to do. You know, getting all the being in the center center of attention, and the teacher's like, behave, behave, and the teacher's like, sit down, please, sit down. And this kid is not, you know, he's not getting punished or anything like that. He keeps doing what the hell he want to do. But as soon as you step out of line, oh man, forget about it. You know what I'm saying? Forget about it. The teachers want to reprimand you and, you know, put you in your place and uh, call your parents and stuff like that. But old Johnny boy, man, he gets to bounce around and everything like that. The teacher makes all kind of excuses for him. And you start to think, like, well, why is he getting away with it? You know what I'm saying? Why is he getting away with it? And I act up once. I'm not learning anything because Johnny Boy is disrupting everything. It's like, I'm not learning. What am I getting out of this? What What am I getting out of being still? Because obviously you have no authority. So, anyway, I think the Department of Justice just did this to save face, man. But they had to. They had to. You know, they had to. Let me know what y'all think. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.